Another important lesson that God provided for Paul is found in 2 Corinthians 13, 5. When we are in these struggles, that there needs to be self-examination. 2 Corinthians 13, 5. Um, he's been talking about all the spiritual lessons that he learned and uh, our weakness and how we live for him. And then he says something to Christians. Examine or test yourself in 13.5 to see if you're in the faith. Uh, I got in trouble at the church one time years ago. For I mentioned this verse, and the deacons of that church got mad at me. How dare you tell us to examine ourselves if we are saved by faith? Well, here is what Paul says. We need to have a sober evaluation of our spiritual character. In the lifelong lessons that God brings to us in this life, as we learn that weakness really is powerful strength of God, that we have these earthen vessels, that we are in a spiritual battle, that we need to employ God's weapons. Another lesson he learns in dealing with the spiritual life is we don't fool ourselves into thinking we are more efficient, but we are testing ourselves to make sure that we are growing in the faith and we are learning these spiritual lessons. Paul says, test yourself to see if you are in the faith. Examine yourself. Or do you not recognize this about yourself, that Jesus Christ is in you, we have to realize our weakness. Don't be kidding ourselves as to how spiritual we are, but we are acknowledging how much we need to be aware of our spiritual condition and our great need to be learning in this lifelong school to make sure that we haven't fooled ourselves into thinking we're talking Christians but not walking Christians. Now only God knows those who are truly saved but it is very healthy for Christians that they have an honest evaluation of their spiritual condition. Because in these tests of faith, like Paul went through, uh, they can really, really shake a person up, especially if we trust in our own resources. And Paul urges us to make sure by testing ourselves, to make sure we know our true spiritual condition and that we are being reliant upon the power of God.